Hi, I'm Dr. Dan, talking to you from Low Vitamin Pro today, and today's topic is a continuation of uh, the blood-brain barrier problem, and this is uh, called Blood-Brain Barrier uh, Repair Part 1. Now, last time we discussed a little bit about if you, um, if you have leaky gut syndrome, you probably also have uh, a leaky uh, blood-brain barrier uh, problem, and if that's the case, you will have brain degeneration and this is not a self-correcting problem so it's very crucial that you learn about this and begin to correct it. Now a couple of things um, first is that if you look into medicine for a, for a cure for this you're going to find nothing. There's absolutely nothing in PDR that's going to be helpful for you to repair your blood brain barrier so like it or not you're into the natural world for this kind of stuff. We, you, you have to have a healthy intestinal barrier and a healthy intestinal blood brain barrier and that's going to be basically trying to return that whole system back to health and not just dumping some pills in and, and have you know pharmaceuticals and have that work for you. So there actually pharmaceutical companies are working madly on this and but nothing is available as of today. So the first, uh, the first thing that you're going to need in order to begin to repair your brain is a steady glucose supply. Now, if your blood sugar cycles up and down too much, you're going to have problems. And of course, if it's high, you're going to develop insulin, uh, insulin resistance. And if it's too low, you're going to have these hypoglycemic effects, which means that you don't have enough fuel to run the processes. So, because of this, um, you know, dietary changes might be important, and I'll refer you to uh, one of uh, probably a thousand books on the topic of how to, how to control blood brain or uh, your blood sugar with, um, with diet. And of course, there's some obvious things in here about, you know, what kind of sugars you eat and corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup and that kind of thing. But that's, uh, you know, I'll refer you to one of the millions of articles and books about that sort of thing. Now, the other thing is blood pressure. Now, hypothyroid people, which are lots of those folks are out there, tend to have um, low blood pressure. Not all of them, but it's a tendency. Now, if your blood pressure is low, you can't force the nutrients into the cells. So, we recommend a product called Adrenostim from Apex to, to do that. And I would use that several times a day. And also, you might have to uh, maybe have them insulting your food. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of salt, but if you have low blood pressure, blood pressure you're going to need some so I would recommend that you use a little uh, non-iodized sea salt to, uh, to do that and this should make a difference in a week or so and be sure that you get that blood pressure up to 120 over 80 because 90 over 60 is not, uh, is not really healthy. So those are the, the two main important things there to get started and we'll, in the next video we'll talk about some other specifics about how to uh, deal with this blood brain barrier issue and how to get it repaired so that your brain degeneration will, uh, will slow way down. So thanks a lot for listening and look forward to seeing you on the next one.